hate women and when are you guys going to realize that at their core in their hearts they don't like women they only like men male attention male validation all that sh they do not like women and that trend going on right now the twitter thread of when i realized i started hating my girlfriend that is literally proof okay they're telling you that they hate women and some of you are still so delusional to think that your man actually likes you no he doesn't okay he's doing it for validation from his boys i'm telling you right now don't shoot the messenger and that right there is a public service announcement from a member of the swa um if you don't know what the swa is then i i, I can't help you i don't understand why we on the, we all on the internet preaching all this hatred what make you think that men hate women? Like, men hate women. Just don't hate women. We hate you new bitch. That's what it is. We don't hate women. We just hate you new bitch. I was in a relationship with him for like three or four years. Okay. And he died of a brain aneurysm in the middle of sex. Like, what? I was, you? Mm -hmm. I was giving him head. And his last words was, oh, shit. I was in a relationship with him for like... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. She said I was and his last words were oh sh Um Her mouth is sending to the shadow realm. Literally. Uh yeah. I'm I'm good. I'm good. If it's that good, I don't want it. When you lose some type of respect for your man, and you in a relationship, and you lose respect for him as a leader, and a provider, and his judgment, you just lose respect in him, the relationship is over. When you can go and comfortably accept anything from the next man while you're in your relationship, it's over. The relationship is over. Because She's speaking so much facts. Now, I'm, I can't speak for all women, but I have been around a situation, meaning that I was the family friend. And uh, the relationship was kind of rocky. I ain't gonna say they separated. They didn't separate. They just had a fight, and she ended up moving out for a little bit. And she went to her homeboy crib, and her homeboy, like, gave her money, gave her a place to stay, and put her in a position where she can make some money for herself. Mind you, she's still married, and her homeboy is doing that. She ended up having sex with her homeboy, dog. You feel me? She ended up having sex with, with, with the bro. And when we spoke about it, she she was just like, oh, I felt obligated to give him some Like, he was really holding it down. When your girl, like, start accepting stuff from she don't got no respect for you. Unless it's a situation where the both of y'all finesse somebody. Just letting y'all know right now. And guess what? Dudes don't be out here giving stuff just to not get back nothing. It's an investment. So now imagine another man is investing in your woman while you with her. I don't know if y'all know about the stock market. But when certain companies go public, that means that the company just went public. Her just went public. She's taking investors is out here buying shares of your girl <laughs> then they're, they're like oh so they pretty much like gonna die soon you know, when you haven't seen your girl like, all day babe, you know and now she won't stop talking Anyways, to you basically they have like sons who are gonna be like mm -hmm. ew <laughs> then they're, they're like oh so bruh why he do that but even though he did that that's not gonna stop her from talking that is not gonna stop her from talking you know how many times I done came home from work? I ain't gonna lie, the bathroom was smelling like World War Three, And my wife would just come in there and sit down and get to talking. And I'd be like, yo, I know she smelled this shit. She just gonna keep going? Yeah. If she wanna talk, she gonna talk. Finally, my first time getting hit on in Home Depot. And how did that go? And he's not even attractive. Well, that's unfortunate. Perhaps next time one should hold up a sign saying, don't bother hitting on me unless one happens to be attractive. Only attractive men need apply. 
know what I'm doing wrong. A person could only guess. But I'm here all the time. So for all you people who are like, go to Home Depot, that's where all the men are. No, they're not. The men are actually there. But the thing that one is failing to take into consideration is that men have been told repeatedly by women not to approach them because that could be considered creepy or even harassing behavior. And the men have been paying attention because since they have no way of knowing what each woman considers to be attractive, they are just playing it safe and not even bothering. So my recommendation is if one really wants to get a man's attention at a hardware store, which is full of tools and possible project ideas, one had probably better approach him. That's a fact. That is a fact. It's crazy how, it's crazy that, that these people complain about us staring, about us approaching them, but then we'll turn around and make videos like this. It's time that we, we as men start taking a stand. Now, I've been thinking about this and I feel as though that this is something that means needs to be Im implemented. I feel as though the woman should pay for the first date. I feel as though the woman should pay for the first date. Now, I'm planning on doing a video of, about this. I don't know if y'all heard about the Cheesecake Factory lady, but she done started a movement. She done started a movement. Now, these heifers got a list of restaurants and places that they refuse to go to on the first date. Well, bitch, if you have all these regulations, I feel as though you should set the standard. You should set the standard for the first date. How much you want me to spend moving forward? You spend that on the first date. The rest, the type of restaurants, caliber of restaurants you want to go to, you show me that on the first date. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. You set the precedence for what you expect moving forward. You're, you're, you're a loser. You're a loser. Wow. How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to be with you when I got these men all the time in my DMs offering me luxury cruises, mansions, all this different stuff, and then I come home to you playing video games in your underwear. It was good when we first started dating. That's What's wrong with playing video ago? games? I'm grown as a person, and you haven't. I've outgrown you. Wow. So after all these years, you have to tell me that about getting pregnant by another man? We couldn't. We couldn't separate for you. We couldn't have this conversation I mean, before we happen. got to this this part. Things happen, but the, I had you, to find you, out you was pregnant. You were How low of you? I, that's low. You were not. T the bottom line is that you are not taking care of I'm me, a so I went man. into I get... another man's arms. I'm a hard-working man. I, give, I, I gave you everything you asked for me. What more you want? I'm in here splitting half of these bills. You're not taking care of me. The rent is $4,000. So? A real man could pay your... your I personally feel as though that was, that's a skit. But the mentality is still the same. If you getting some pussy, you got to be prepared to put her on your taxes. You got to claim her on, on your taxes, man. I feel as though all this is the internet. I blame everything that's going on right now on the internet. And the fact that we all now have access to wealthy people's lives and we see the way wealthy people live and we expect regular mothers to provide that type of lifestyle that's that's what i think get the fuck out of my face dude I remember seeing this video uh, on my feed, and I didn't know how to feel about it because let, <laughs> let's keep it let's keep it a hundred. I don't know what type of stuff y'all do in y'all bedroom, but y'all can read between the lines. I don't want to get too graphic. I don't want to get canceled on YouTube, but people be spitting. In that sense, though, right there, how how it came about, right there, it, it, 
Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's disrespectful. You're not finna spit in my face like that. I don't know what type of relationship they have. Everybody's relationship is different. But I know for me and my personal preference, you're not spitting in my face on camera and you're not spitting in my face in, in, in private. Now, I ain't even gonna go in. I was finna, I was finna say something. This lady has been following me throughout the gym after each of my workouts, so I decided to wreck her. It's been a week now. She always stares me down while using a machine near me. lady has been followed i ain't gonna lie that thing fluffy well i ain't gonna say it's fluffy it's poking but i don't know if it's fluffy you know what i'm saying that that, that muscle booties don't be fluffy they be poking though but um i don't this whole people recording in the gym and trying to expose other gym goers like, why are we exposing people that are attracted to you? You go to the gym to make yourself more attractive. Whether it be for you or whether it be for other people. Why in the world, whether you're a man or a woman, be upset that people are attracted to you? Now, you wouldn't even know a person is checking you out unless you look on the camera. I just want you to understand that. You wouldn't know that somebody's checking you out until you review your camera. And now it becomes a problem. Somebody might think you fine as hell. Think about how many times you have been in the grocery store and somebody probably was eye-fucking you. And you wouldn't know because guess what? You don't have a camera invading people's personal space. I know, even though I make bread, you know, uh, doing videos on the internet, I blame it all on the internet. Bruh, at this point, you burn the whole couch. Burn the whole couch. I don't understand how people can let their house get so crazy. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Having a toddler, our crib has seen some days. It's very exhausting to be cleaning up and picking up after a toddler. But to have your crib looking like that, your couch is a, 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 a roach colony. Nah. Three ways to make a woman happy. Hear her out, take her out, and eat her out. Three ways to make a woman happy. Hear her out. I do all three. So that's why that's why I got the ring right now. I do all three. Especially the the last thing she said. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one of those. What prison is this? What, what, what prison is this? I wonder if they need security.